Number six, write a balanced equation describing each of the following chemical equations, and then we have letter C. In this example, they say, when solid sodium chloride is added to aqueous sulfuric acid, hydrogen chloride gas, so hydrogen chloride gas, and aqueous sodium sulfate are produced. Okay, so as you can see here, when I'm doing chemistry problems, um, and you'll see this throughout all the videos that I do, I love to highlight specific things that's important. There's more stuff in this sentence that I didn't highlight that is important, but you should always just try to group together important stuff, uh, you know, right from the get-go. Now, in this case, we have to write a balanced equation. So that's why I highlighted all of the compounds, right? Now we got to write the balanced equation. So we got to use our context clues. They said solid sodium chloride is added to aqueous sulfuric acid. Okay, so I'll stop there. So they said when this is added to this, when sodium chloride is added to sulfuric acid. So it seems to me that sodium chloride, so I'll say sodium chloride, is being added to, literally, addition, plus sulfuric acid. What's going to happen? When these two are added together, what's going to happen? It says hydrogen chloride gas and aqueous sodium sulfate are produced. If you're produced, that means you are on the product's side. You are the product. But now, if you're talking about products, that means you have to have a reactant side, and that means that you have to have a yield sign. The starting material is always your reactants. So I have two reactants here. I have sodium chloride reacting with sulfuric acid, and that will yield. This symbol just means to produce or to form, you know, any, any word to make. It, it all means the same thing. And now what, what is it making? Oh, well, it's making hydrogen chloride and literally addition, right? Sodium sulfate. Hmm, we have our blueprint. I have now everything set in stone. I just need to now put the chemical equations. So let's start with sodium chloride. This is a review now. We've learned how to make uh, chemical equations from their, their names, right? So sodium chloride, Na is in group one, so that's a plus one. Chlorine chloride is in group 17, right? Or 7A, it's a minus one. You will use the crisscross method. So one comes down here telling me that I need one chlorine, and then the one up here tells me that I need one sodium, one for one, that's, you know, as balanced as you can be. So I know that my starting is NaCl. Now let's just see if they gave us any more context. They told us when solid sodium chloride is added. So I'm just going to put the state over here. I'm just going to say that it was a solid. And that's how we write states. Our states are solid, liquid, gas, or aqueous, okay? So you just got to memorize. There's four states. So this is being added to sulfuric acid. Okay, now we need to know how to write this out. I think we did acid notation, but if you guys need a refresher, just know that if it's an acid, it has to have a uh, acidic hydrogen. The the element that makes something an atom uh, that makes something an acid is hydrogen. So if I have an H in the front. And it's saying that it's sulfuric. Remember, if you have a ic acid, if that's what your ending is, the polyatomic that came there, or that got you there, was an A-T-E. If you have polyatomics that end in A-T-E, and you're producing something that's an acid, it will always end in an ic acid. So since this was sulfuric, acid, I know that the polyatomic that got me here was sol 
sulfate. Sulfate will turn into sulfuric acid. Polyatomic, got to memorize those. Sulfate is SO4, 2 minus. Now I have the charges, I can crisscross. The plus 1 is telling me that I only need one sulfate. However, the minus 2, or the 2 in general, tells me that I need two H's. So sulfuric acid is H2SO4. And they told us that sulfuric acid was aqueous. So I'm just going to write that state, AQ. This will produce the combination of this and this coming together, reacting together, will form hydrogen chloride. So we have hydrogen, H plus 1, chloride, just like we did before, Cl minus 1. It's a 1 for 1, so when you crisscross, 1 and 1. So it's just HCl. Did they give us any more context for that? They told us that it was a gas, so G, and sodium sulfate. So we know that sodium was Na plus 1, it's in group 1, and sulfate was the polyatomic that you have to memorize. It's a 2 minus, SO4, 2 minus. You do the crisscross. This tells me that I need 1 sulfate. This 2 tells me that I need 2 sodiums. So it would be Na2SO4. They told me it was aqueous, so I just have to add that in there. And actually, let me just move this over a little bit before we get into that. This looks good. Just bring this down a little bit. And this one was aqueous, okay. Now I'm ready to balance my equation. And I said that because... It's just a habit. Any time that I make a equation, I automatically know, oh, I got to make sure it's balanced. You can't proceed in doing math with your equations without just making sure that it's balanced. It's got to be balanced. So as you get practice, more and more practice, it's going to be like muscle memory. So since I wrote this equation down, I'm just going to make sure that it's balanced. I'm just going to try to look and see if I can spot any elements that are different on both sides. So for example, I have one sodium on the left-hand side, but on the product side, the right-hand side, I have two of them. That needs to be balanced. If I have one sodium and two sodium, I, it looks like I have to put a coefficient here, right? And what number times by one will get me to two because I want to get two? Oh, I'll just multiply it by 2. Okay. Now let's see. By doing that, I'm doing like a piggyback. I change the sodium. So now I just look at the chlorine. Okay, I have two chlorines on my reactant side. But on my product side, I only have one. That needs to get balanced. And I know that I have to add it to this guy. Or not really add, but put the number in front of HCl. If I have two on the reactants, and I only have one here, I know that I have to put a 2 coefficient here to balance it off. Now I change the hydrogen, so let's check it out. I have two hydrogen here. Oh, but that's cool, because I have two hydrogen here. So that checks out. And I'm going to group my whole sulfate together. I know that sulfate is SO4. I have only one of them. And on the uh, the product side, I have only one SO4. So my sulfates are in check. And that's it. Now we're balanced. So without adding these two values, if I tried to do math or stoichiometry with that equation, all of my answers would be incorrect. So not good, okay? So that's why. Just make sure that you balanced it, and then we move on to bigger and better things. All right? So I hope this helped. Let me know in the uh, comments if this helped you out in your chem class. If it did, you know, tell your friends, tell your classmates about the service. Kind of gets the word out to all, all over that, you know, the service is accessible to you guys. And I hope you're doing good. I hope you're having a good day. Hang in there, all right? I know tests are right around the corner, so you just got to push through, okay? But you got this. I know, I know you can. I believe in you, all right? I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye.